All right, guys, let me show you how to uh, bypass your governor on these Predator motors here. Um, it's actually super simple. Um, done in 30 seconds. I um, actually tore this motor up because I didn't tie down my armature here before I dry fired it, which chewed up that um, governor flywheel in there and totally messed up the compression in this engine. Um, it was too hard. Now I didn't get no compression at all. Um, but you don't have to take all that stuff out on these governors, guys. You just need that thing to stay right there. Now, I got some little steel there. I'll probably even do this one handed. Drop that in there. Then find a bolt, something wrap around, boom. That's that. Governor bypass. Um, now you don't necessarily have to take these things off, guys. Um, but when you do have them on there, I notice the engine will like get to higher RPMs and kind of kind of sucks. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, the governor is not removed, but that's all eliminated. Um, it's bypassed, not a big deal. Um, now, when you're installing these Makuna carbs, you have no choice but to disengage this governor. You gotta disengage it. Um, this is the best way right here, guys. I have to tear the block off, um, get in that crankcase, um, just tie it off. Um, cut all your springs off, remove your carb, whatever. This little armature right here, pull it all the way back towards the block, as far as it'll go. Tie it off with your piece of wire, you're good to go now if this armature was to move this way or you left it just flap and didn't tie it off what will happen is when you go to fire this thing up you're going to get a real bad rattle which is that flywheel in there just dropping all down into your motor i completely ruined this motor because i got in a hurry and i forgot to tie this armature off and i'm just back here flapping and when i dry fired it clack 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 it was done over with ruined my compression i got a few I got a few miles out of it, but the second I put my performance carb on it, killed it totally. No compression, thing won't even start. Um, but all because I didn't tie down my governor. Um, you tie this armature down, you will have no problems out of this motor. That thing is not going to fall in there. You don't got to take your whole engine block apart to do it. Just tie that thing off. 30 seconds, it is done. And it does work. Same thing this one, just I remembered to tie it off this time, um, unlike I did on the last one, like a jackass. Um, but there's my little wire right there. There's that little armature. Tie that thing off, your motor's good to go, completely bypassed. Um, now, the other way of removing the governor, I mean, it does look a little cooler, a little more sleek, you know what I mean, whatever. I really don't care. Um, this is the best way to bypass that governor, guys. Life hacks.